Um, what uh, what do you take away from a game that had that many different ups and downs? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, I think the ultimate thing is that you know we we stuck with it. You know, it was a lot of like you said, it was like five different games in one tonight. You know, we we got off to a shaky start. And then, you know, our bench comes in and makes a lot of noise and brings us back. And then before you know it, we're up at half. You know, we're going into the second half. You know, we're winning. All of a sudden, they make their run. You know, it gets a little crazy and nerve nerve wrecking at the end. But I think it just shows our, our kind of poise and our growth. You know, I think in – I think earlier in the year we would have we definitely would have folded in those situations, but we did a good job of defending uh and and you know executing when we needed to down the stretch. And and tomorrow they're announcing all-star starters. As of as of the last returns, you you were still in the lead in the east. What's just what's your mentality going into that whole thing? Uh, uh I ain't gonna say I don't care, but you know, I, you know what I mean. Like I don't I don't put really too much focus on it like my ultimate thing is just trying to help my team win you know uh it's definitely a blessing and an honor to be in that position because you know there's so many guys who are deserving to one be in the game and then two is definitely enough guys who, who deserve to start so uh you know to be able to have that recognition is is an honor you know i don't take it for granted it just motivates me to continue to work on my craft for sure eva Brad, what did you feel like was the um, turning point ahead of that second quarter there? You mentioned the bench. Um, Scott also said that Russ spoke to you guys and got into you guys a little bit. Yeah, it was just, you know, we we had to pick up our intensity. They weren't doing anything, you know, special. Uh, they were just playing harder than we were. They're getting a lot of offensive rebounds. And, you know, that's, some, that's stuff we can control, myself included. So uh, it was just a matter of just getting box, getting stops one, uh, then boxing our guy out and, you know, securing the ball. Uh, you know, I think we did a really good job of that in the second quarter on through the rest of the game. You know, I think the first quarter was absolutely terrible for us, but, uh, you know, we definitely credit our bench and guys for being ready and helping us give us give us a fuse that we need. And what's the emotion that you have when you see Davis have a night like he has tonight? Does it feel like relief? Are you excited for him? Is it just nice to see him kind of back? All of the above, all of the above, you know, because we know how he puts a lot of pressure on himself to to be perfect every game and to make every shot. And, you know, he's human just like me and everybody else. So, you know, when he does have games like this, you just keep feeding him. You keep giving him the ball. You keep giving him the ball as much as we possibly can. And uh, he's always going to shoot it. He's going to shoot it. Hell, if he's if he's, if he's he's 0 for 50 and if he's 50 for 50, he's going to shoot. And that's what we want him to do. So uh, he knows that it was a great game for him tonight. But even then, I think it was just other stuff in the game that he was doing that, that got him going. You know, he was he was locked in defensively. He was getting rebounds. Uh, he's putting his body in plays. And, you know, I think that definitely just carried over to him. Chase. Hey, Brad. When, when Davis is shooting as well as he has these last two games, what's it like having that come off the bench? Uh, it's a spark, you know, it's, it's one like you, like we've seen tonight, we needed it, you know, uh, I think it's, it's definitely, it creates a lot of opportunities uh, for guys to drive, especially in the second group of Iowa and Russ out there, you know, it gives them open lanes to be able to create because you can't help off the obvious words. You might as well sprint back on, on the other end to count it. Uh, so, you know, we, we trust in them, you know, it's, it's, you know, coach mixes up the lineups here and there. Uh, you know, we've been, you know, three and all the last three with the lineups that we have. So, you know, he's comfortable with it. Uh, like I said, whenever he's he's ready to go and giving us a lift, it's it's even better. And it seemed like you and Russ each found each other in rhythm for some, you know, especially around the basket, some easy buckets. Um, how's your chemistry with him in particular developing as you learn how to play with each other? It's grown. It's grown. You know, it's 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 easier for me because you know I don't always need the ball in my hand. You know, I'm, I'm able to read read my guys and, you know, play off of them. And uh, and I feel like that's all I do with Russ. I, I let him have his opportunities of creating, uh, you know, when he wants to go into a back down, when he wants to go into his one-on-one. Uh, you know, we, we grant him, you know, those opportunities, you know, and, and uh, he's successful with them. He creates plays for us. Uh, so we love it. All I have to do is just continue to move without the ball, trust my teammates, um, you know, Come off screens hard, screen other guys, just just keep defenses off 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 balance uh, with with how they can guard us.
Neil? Brad, I've noticed this season, you guys do a lot of clapping on the bench. Why do you think that is? And what's the benefit from it? That's a wild ass question, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess guys are happy, you know? I think if, if I'm over there pissed off, you know, it's, you know, Brad's upset, you know? Uh, but now everybody's clapping. So I guess it's, maybe it's the wins, I guess. I don't know. I mean, winning, winning brings on great attitudes. Uh, but I mean, we just, nobody, like I always said at the beginning of the year, nobody hates the next man. Nobody doesn't, you know, wish any ill on the next man. We're all great character guys. And uh, we know that, you know, nobody's going to feel sorry for us and nobody's going to dig us, dig us out of this hole but ourselves. You know, we, we can only do that collectively and together, you know, and, and just encouraging each other, uh, cheering each other on throughout the, throughout the, the whole game is, you know, something that we've been developing and, uh, embracing as a team. Do you feel like that's not necessarily Keith? I, I was meaning it in the sense of when you guys are down early, you know, guys are trying to say, okay, it's still a lot of time left, things like that. Yeah, I mean, because we've we 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 know we have to build off of our last two games. You know, we can't fall back into those bad habits. You know, at times we do, uh, but there's gonna be times in which you know tonight we don't get off to good starts. Our energy isn't there, and you know you're gonna need you know, that energy that sparked from someone because we damn sure don't have fans. So, you know, we have to create that energy, you know, within ourselves from the get-go, uh, you know. And so when we come out a little flat, you know, the only thing we can do is rely on, you know, the man next to you to, you know, kind of give you some encouragement, you know, to keep going. You know, guys tell me all the time I miss two shots, turn the ball over, whatever. Keep going. Keep attacking. So, you know, that's, that's always good and positive to hear. Uh, we spread that message, you know, throughout to everybody. Um, and so... It's, it's definitely promising and, and great signs to see. Matt, Paris. Hey, Brad. Um, just curious, with the fan vote, do you think last year's snub kind of contributed to a reason why you're you're leading it at all? Like, do you think it raised your profile or fans were kind of encouraged to vote for you after what happened last year? Yeah, I think it's a little bit of everything. Uh, I definitely think the snub has a little bit to do with it. Uh, I wouldn't say all the way to the point to where they made it point to where I had to start. But uh, I think it was just gaining the recognition uh, last year and then it just carried over to this year. And, um, you know, me just constantly working on my game and, you know, playing the way I've been playing. But, you know, I'll, I, I never take all the credit. I always credit God, credit my teammates and, uh, and just continue to do what I do and continue to control what I can control. And what is it kind of like to be known as that guy, the guy who's not the guy who doesn't get that recognition? Oh, uh, it's tough at times, but, you know, ultimately it brings you back to why do you play the game? You know, um, the, when I first picked up a basketball, it wasn't to win a trophy. It wasn't to win someone's approval. It wasn't to win someone's vote. Um, and so, you know, it always brings me back. And I think that's been my approach the last couple of years is, you guys hear me all the same time say, I don't care about the All-Star. I don't care about, you know, if I make it because at the end of the day, accolades is not what I want to be remembered by. I want to be remembered by the impact I leave on people. Um, so, well, you know, however that looks, however many All-Stars, All-NBAs, whatever, uh, I can care less. You know, I just want to be a dominant player and leave a lasting impact on people. Thank you. Culture of sports. Hey, Puerto Rico. Uh oh. Yeah, that would be you. No. Okay. Last question to Quentin Mayo. What's up, B? She was work. Um, you're three and zero with this new starting lineup of you, Russ, uh, Rui, Mo, and Garrison Matthews. Is that the new starting lineup you guys need to rock with for the rest of the season? I uh, mean, it's working. You know, uh, you know the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, you know, I think that's that's been kind of our approach the last couple of games. And, uh, you know, obviously, Coach is going to, you know, he's the head honcho. He's going to make that decision. But, you know, I think to having Mo and putting Mo and Garrison into the lineup generated some energy, you know, and I think it lit a little fire up on the guys that Coach, you know, decided to bench and take out a lineup too. So, I think it, it plays it played in, our, it played in our favor the last couple of games. So, I think uh, I think come Portland, you probably see the same thing. And what's the feeling as you're 
on the verge of being an all-star starter? What's that feeling like for you? It hasn't hit me yet, honestly. Um, it really has Like, I'm, I don't know. I think I'm just so mind boggled by last year and this year is just like two different extremes. Yeah. So really, I think it really hasn't hit me yet. Uh, but, you know, it, it'll definitely be, you know, a special moment. You know, for me, I think my family will probably be more excited than I will. But, uh, you know, I never take anything for granted. Like I said before, it's a motivational thing for me, uh, you know, to be recognized for that. Then, you know, there's so many other great guys who are in this position, too. There's so many other great guys who will be next to you who deserve to be where you are. Uh, you know, so that's just motivation to just continue to work at it and continue to be better. And real quick, how important was it for you guys to get on this streak right before this road trip? Huge, 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 huge. Uh, for one, just winning at home. Uh, winning at home, getting wins, period. Uh, it's always, you know, great. Granted, there's, there is an advantage, but there isn't an advantage, uh, you know, being at home, being on the road. Uh, but, you know, it's always good to be able to, you know, have that home stand and be able to get, get some wins. And then one right before you leave out, you know, that's always the hardest one to get. So uh, that's definitely a, a good boost of confidence uh, before we head out west. All right, B. Thank you.